In this video, you will learn how to create a GNSS Rural Profile so IconField can connect and use it for measurements. You may need to do that to prepare IconField for yourself or somebody else. We start in the Home menu. In the Settings section, we tap on Devices. As there is no connection to a device yet, IconField displays an empty screen. The bottom bar shows three buttons. Home, Create New Profile, and Delete Profiles. We tap on the green plus sign to create a new profile. The right side shows the start screen to create a new profile. Icon GPS 70 is the default device. We want to use this, so we tap on OK. The wizard to set up the connection starts. On the first step, we search for all available devices using Bluetooth. Press Start Search. A progress bar is running while the controller scans for reachable devices in the surrounding. Search result lists all devices found. We select which device we want to connect with. The progress bar runs again, but this time to establish the connection to the selected device. If needed, we can interrupt the process by pressing Stop Connecting. Once the connection is established, the progress bar stops running and the device gets highlighted. We tap on the arrow in the top bar to proceed to the next step of the wizard. On the next page, on the left side, we see the current configuration of the connected device. The right side provides several ways to continue. First, we could press Go to work to use the current configuration. Second, we could load a configuration, for example a profile created and exported on another controller. This way speeds up the process when we can use the same profile on several controllers. And third, we could create a new configuration. We select the third option to create a new configuration. The wizard to set up the device starts. The default settings are to configure the device as rover, to use network, and to connect via Ntrip. In this exercise, we will set up the device as a rover using internal radio. We tab on Network. From the list on the right side, we select Internal Radio. We tap on the arrow in the top bar to proceed to the next step. On the next step, we define the radio settings. We can set the channel, which goes along with the frequency and channel spacing. Furthermore, we can set the radio protocol and forward error correction to on or off. In this exercise, we will not use a predefined channel, but into the frequency directly. We tap into the field for frequency and enter 434.2 MHz. The channel spacing of 25 kHz is correct, so we don't change this. The radio protocol and forward error correction are also correct. We tap on the arrow to proceed to the next step. In the antenna settings, we define the information about the pole and its accessories. First, we must set the correct pole height. In this exercise, it is 1.8 meters. We use an icon GPS 70 supporting the tilt functionality, so tilt is turned on. We don't use the quick snap tool or a wheel pole, so we keep these settings off, but let us see what that means. We tap on the info button in the top right corner. A help picture explains the differences using a pole in combination with quick snap or wheel pole. We tap on back to return to the wizard. We tap on the arrow to proceed to the next step. At the last wizard step, we see an overview of the defined settings. 
In this state, we can already see corrections from the last minute and the position quality and confirm whether the profile is working. If the position quality shows fixed, it means we are ready to make precise measurements. Finally, under Detected Base Antenna and Detected Base Receiver, we can see from which base we receive the corrections. We tap on OK to complete the profile. We are back on the device home menu with the newly created profile shown on the left. It is already active. On the right side, we see further information about the device, like the serial number, loaded firmware version, maintenance end, and more. We tap on the Home button. On the Home menu, the status bar shows the status of the connected device. Note that in the Home menu, status is read only. We can only change status from within an application. That's it. You have learned how to create a GNSS profile and how to connect to a device. Furthermore, you have learned the important settings for achieving fixed position and make precise measurements. As the logical next step, you may want to watch a video about how to bend your icon field rover against control points.